come to the conclusion that it's only four things that matter to me as an options trader. And I promise you, if you focus on these four, it will change the game for you. But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be a part of the best wealth building community in the world, then hit the link in my description to get a free trial of Fly Capital. And with all that being said, let's get it. Now, it's four concepts that I want y'all to understand. Number one, I want you to focus on entry. Number two, risk management. Number three, patience. And number four, discipline. The reason why I put entry number one is because it's going to separate a good trade from a bad one. Me and you can get into the same contract, but depending on the entry that we have, it's going to dictate who's going to get the win or who's going to take the loss. You got to understand that entry is everything. And I feel like people focus on so many other things that they don't understand that that's the most important thing. Your entry, when you get into the trade, when you buy that contract. People are so focused on the stock that they don't realize that they are options traders. So as an options trader, not only do you have to focus on the stock for an entry, you have to focus on that contract for an entry. Both matter a lot. <laughs> So make sure you understand that. So not only are you buying the stock at a certain price, you're buying the contract at a certain price. And it's just like stocks. You wanna buy low and you wanna sell high. So that contract that you're getting, you wanna get it for the low and you wanna sell it for the high. So entry is everything. Another thing that you wanna ask yourself is, what is my objective with the trade? Am I looking to day trade it? Am I looking to scalp it? Am I looking to swing? All of this matters because you have to find your entry on certain time frames. And all of these time frames isn't going to make sense for what you're trying to do. For instance, as a swing trader, I'm looking for entries on longer time frames. I'm not looking at the one minute. I'm not looking at the five minute. I'm not looking at the 15 minute. I'm starting out looking at the four hour. I wanna see how the stock is performing and to see if I can get a real entry to swing into the next day. So that really matters. If you're scalping, you wanna look for opportunities on the one minute. You wanna look for opportunities on the five minute. If you're scalping, you don't wanna be looking at longer time frames because you're looking to get in and out on those candles. So the objective that you have, whether you're swing trading or you're day trading, really matters to how you're going to execute on the trade. Number two, I'm telling y'all, man, y'all have to take pride in being great with risk management. A lot of people always talking about all of these gains. Oh, I done made 50%, oh, I done made 100%, oh, I done made this, that, and the third. The thing that they're not talking about is the losses. And I'm telling you right now, those losses are gonna come with the game. That's why risk management is so important. But I'm gonna tell you a little trick. This is something that is gonna change the game for you. When you take your entry, all you have to know is how much you pay for that contract. So you can then do the math and see how much would the contract be with a 20% loss. Now, once you have that information, then go ahead and set you a stop for a 20% loss so you can go on about your business. You want to start averaging small losses, please. And I'm telling you right now, sometimes you're not gonna be able to make that decision to get out of a bad trade. So you need to let the stop loss do it for you. Go ahead and set the stop loss for 15 to 20%. And if you get stopped out, you get stopped out. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be happier getting stopped out at 20% then looking back at your contract later in the day and it being down 50%, 60%, 70%, where you know you don't have the time for that thing to come back. You smoked. Do you want to get smoked? Or do you want to be able to say, you know what? I'm living to fight another day. <laughs> Risk management is important, man. And that's going to be the game changer for you. So as soon as you get in the trade, Go ahead and set that stop loss for 15 to 20%. Now, honestly, I would rather you only lose 10%, but on options contracts, y'all know how that go. 10% can get you up out of there very quick. So give yourself some leg room at 15 to 20%. And if you got a bad entry, you got a bad entry. You got to accept it. Just monitor the stock and see if you can find another opportunity and attack again. 
but it's always better to average small losses. Risk management is key. It's not about how much money you make in this game. It's about how much money you keep. Always remember that. Now, one of the hardest things that you're going to have to master is patience. Because it's going to be some days where the market just doesn't give you an inch. And you got to be able to say, all right, I'm not trading today. And that's hard to do because if you like me, we want to make that money, man. We're looking to come into the market and we're looking to attack and extract. But some days it's not going to give you that opportunity, especially as a swing trader. So some days you're just going to have to sit out and you're going to have to be patient. And if you're patient long enough, I'm telling you right now, the next day can give you the opportunity that you're looking for. For instance, today the Dow ended down 600 points and yesterday the market was running. So if you was a bear looking for an opportunity, yesterday did not present it. This morning didn't even present it because the market opened up bullish. But as the day went on, certain news came out, the market turned around and it started to go down and you would have been able to find you an opportunity today to make money on the downside. That type of execution takes patience. It takes something that a lot of people don't have. And I'm telling you right now, if you look at anything regarding money, it takes patience. A lot of it. Because you don't know when your opportunity is going to come. And when it does come, you have to be ready to execute. It's the same way in the market. So please master your patience to wait on your entry and also make money. Because some people aren't patient for the move to happen and they're quick to get out of their trade. And then next thing you know, they're like, man, the thing took off. My contract is worth this, that, and the third. And all I had to do was wait. But you know what would save you from getting faked out of trades? That stop loss. So if you're up in profit, all you have to do is start adjusting your stop loss. You can start off with putting it where you just break even on the trade. You can set a stop loss at that level, or you could put the stop loss at 10% or a 20% gain, and you just keep adjusting it as it goes up or down. So that stop loss is gonna help you from making bad emotional decisions in the market. So please use that stop loss, man. It's your friend. You know how they say the trend is your friend? That stop loss is your friend. And the last thing that I wanna speak on that's gonna bring it all together and make sure everything is on point is your discipline. So my question is, how disciplined are you that you follow your rules and finding the right entry, that you make sure your risk management is on point with setting that stop loss and that you're patient for an opportunity? Because it's not gonna be easy to do every day. So it's something that you got to continuously talk to yourself about and make sure you get strong on your discipline. And a way to grow your discipline is to make sure you're disciplined in your everyday life when it comes to your routine throughout the day and making sure you do that. Those type of things is going to help you in the market and making sure your discipline is growing and that you're following it every day, man, because that's what matters. Trust what I'm telling you right now. If you focus on these four things and make sure your entry risk management, patience, and discipline is on point, you're gonna make a lot of money in this market. Cause for one, you're gonna make sure you enter nothing but great trades. And if it's a bad one, you'll have the risk management to cut that position. And third, you're gonna increase the likeliness of you getting into great trades because you had the patience to wait on the right setup. You're not just getting into anything. And a lot of traders don't have that patience. As soon as they lose on a trade, they looking for something else. And nine times out of 10, it's another bad trade. So you don't have to worry about that. And last, you'll have the discipline to follow those three rules each and every day to make sure your trades is on point. I want you to follow these steps and let me know if that changed the game for you. I feel like each and every one of you that's watching this video right now is fully capable of making money by trading options. But it's certain things that you got to work on within yourself to get to the next level. So take that very, very serious, man, because I want y'all to run it up. I want to see y'all coming back to me saying, Rico, man, I ran up six figures because of what you told me. Rico, I ran up seven figures because of what you told me. And so on and so forth. I want to see y'all be great. So with all that being said, world is yours.